program to build five general-purpose frigates for the UK Royal Navy was intended to offer a cost-effective alternative to the more expensive Type 26 frigates. Providing its half-year, H1, results for 2023 on 14th of November, Babcock revealed the DRP with the UK model and the Type 31 program had been paused following customer discussions, with both parties working towards a collaborative solution. In April this year, Babcock initiated a DRP with the UK Mod to determine liability for increased costs being sustained on the Type 31 frigate program, with up to £100 million $125 million, in additional funds needed. Earlier, providing a 2023 financial year and Type 31 update on 20th of April, Babcock said it recognised more than £600 million in revenue on the program, which remained on schedule and due to conclude in 2028. However, the program's production plan was described as demanding, given the impact felt by UK industry during the COVID-19 pandemic, and had seen an increase in actual and projected costs. Babcock said at the time that despite having been in dialogue with the mod as to who is responsible for the additional costs under the contact, it had been unable to reach agreement and, as such, a DRP. Without recovery of the additional costs, the contract would be loss-making and our preliminary assessment, subject to finalization and audit, is that a one-off provision of between £50 million and £100 million would be required to cover the duration of the contract, Babcock stated in April. The original contact was signed in November 2019 to deliver five Inspiration Class Type 31 general-purpose frigates, at an average production cost of £250 million per vessel. The first in class of the Type 31s, HMS Venturer, is due to be structurally complete in December 2023 and construction commenced on the second ship, HMS Active, in January 2023. Assessing the Type 31 Program Outturn Type 31 Program estimates published by Babcock on 14th of November reiterated that a £100 million loss was recorded during the year ended March 31, 2023, primarily by reducing revenue and creating an onerous contract provision. Given this, Babcock said that determining the program's outturn, the actual construction cost, required assumptions and complex judgments to be made about future performance of the